guys on my channel is lightning art three t's and it was too popular so i have to go with three t's but it's awesome i like it so anyways today we're going to do a video on like something similar to a draw with me where most artists draw and engage their audience at the same time and give them some tips or explanation like where to get the idea from what they're doing and stuff like that we will try something similar but not really yeah most of the things I upload on my channel is quite dry and it's like just video, speech, sketch, music and basically that's it so I'm gonna try talking to you guys today so we're gonna do Zhongli from Genshin Impact it's not really a draw with me because my phone is too small and if I do a draw with me it's gonna take very long my drawing for this today took me about 13 hours so I'm not going to do today for 13 hours in this video it's gonna take very long if I'm gonna sit out here for 13 hours, no way, man. I'm gonna do a 5 minute speed video instead. So, Zhang Li is a character from Genshin. I got this idea from his costume in the Archon War before he took over Li Yue, which is like his older design, like his war battle suit. Which is then cool because in the game they didn't give like a very clear detail of this costume, where most artists have like different designs, different styles of this costume. It has like cool tattoos on his arm and all. Different artists make different styles of it, so it turns out pretty unique. And the results are kind of similar, but each design is different. You should check out what other artists do too, it's pretty awesome. I got this idea because of his favorite drink, like Osmantis wine. So I wanted to create an olden feel by like, drinking for the first time. So. I gave the barriers, the drink like an olden barrier kind where they didn't have glass bottles or salt wine and maybe like a treasure box at that time where it's like it's like a treasure at that time so it's like something rare, something you get and that's why I put it in a treasure chest and a cup is like well in the olden times they don't have spot and spoon so I decided to go with a cup design so for his expression I went for a more like aggressive feel not really aggressive but it's because he's a stubborn person so I give it more of a stubborn feel because he hasn't drink it for the first time it's not really like a happy feeling when he drinks it before and he wants it again it's more like he drinks it for the first time he's like yeah let's try it out and he's a stubborn character yeah that's why the face looks a bit stubborn in the past. Oh yeah, for glowing designs right, if you guys like to follow me, you can add like a few layers. For me what I do is right, I create one layer in IBI explain like one layer above, then I add the color yellow, then you can do the like color like light yellow, white, then you smudge it, then it creates that like 3D effect of the light, makes it look more round and all, so it makes it glow. Yeah, it makes it glow and stand out more. It's amazing. No, I didn't do it for this drawing. Still amazing. You should try it out. Oh, and for the cup design, I did add the cup in front to make it pop out, like in front of the blue layer. As you compare it to the hand, right, it seems like it stands out more. But when you add in front of the blue layer, you don't necessarily just like leave it in front. It looks it doesn't look right because the glowing there is behind so you can add like stuff in front to make it glow a bit more if you want like those unique design I use it like the cracks of the cup to make it glow so it's the, the cup stands out more than the arm then it creates this nice effect like it stands out, it's amazing yeah. For the character hair design, usually what I like to do is 
I will, if the character has two hair colors, I like to make the hair from down to up because your hair has many layers. So it doesn't make sense if like, I have a brown below and a uh, black on top, right? I mean, sorry, the other way, right? It doesn't make sense for me to have a black then a brown patch over. It's supposed to be the other way. So when you smudge it, it has a smooth feel to it. Like the hair goes from one color to the other. If you put the black first, then the brown, then the smudge will be the other way. It's gonna look weird and it's not how the hair really flows. Yeah, for this character. Usually you can try multiple colors, it might come out different. I don't know. Give it a go. Ah, it's fun. Yeah. As for background designs, you can go for a different car and see what you feel like. Just add a layer behind and just mess around with it. Usually, nice backgrounds are like those that can do like sakura trees, like maybe temple, I don't know, like different unique designs that I'm not really very good at it at the moment, so I still need, I still need time to learn. But it's pretty awesome. So, well, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. So, do leave like feedbacks in the comment or what I can do next, maybe what I can improve on. I don't know, it's been my first video, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe for more.